Now, for many people, the idea of a Lord of the Manor is something that belongs in the history books. But here in Tadcaster, the owner of Samuel Smith's Brewery owns so much of the town that his influence extends to many aspects of life here. Some see him as a benevolent landowner with the best interests of the town at heart. Others are not so sure. This is Tadcaster, a small, quiet market town in North Yorkshire. For around 250 years, Tadcaster has been closely linked to the brewery business, and three large breweries still dominate the town to this day. But one of them, Samuel Smith's, also dominates nearly every facet of life here through its owner, Humphrey Smith. And his influence also stretches beyond the town itself. You can't make any future plans because you don't know what your future is. I'm going to be out on the street, nobody will help me, and I attempt to take my life. Humphrey Smith has been the head of Samuel Smith's old brewery since 2004, but it's been in his family since the 19th century. He lives in this mansion just outside Tadcaster and owns 26 companies worth tens of millions of pounds. People who know Humphrey Smith say is a man of old-fashioned values, who's keen to preserve Tadcaster's heritage and prevent any overdevelopment of land around the town. But this has often brought him into conflict with the district council based in Selby. So this is the main street of Tadcaster. Yes. Just exactly how much of it does Sam Smith's Humphrey Smith own? Well, if you, if you look behind us, all on this side here, up to the chemists, uh, on the other side, uh, all, all the other side, with the exception of the HSBC bank. Although the buildings look lovely, when you look closely, many of them are empty or boarded up, some for several years. Why aren't they being filled? To be fair, there is a real difficulty at the moment in time in rural market towns trying to fill empty properties. But on the other side, there is a list of uh, types of businesses that uh, the brewery are prepared to see come in and others not. Just how much influence does the brewery have then on the shape of Tadcaster? Total. Samuel Smith's lawyers told us that the brewery has sought to improve the town and that the shops are unattractive to tenants because Tadcaster is in need of regeneration. It says it even commissioned its own regeneration scheme known as the vision of Tadcaster, but it was not adopted by the council. I'm about three miles outside Tadcaster at the scene of one of the bloodiest battles ever to be fought on British soil, the Battle of Towton, during the English Civil War. Catherine and Ian Hutchinson from Aberford named their stud business after that battle. What they didn't realise was how prophetic that would be. We are guardians of, of our land and, and, and we feel that we are responsible people who have improved the landscape. We haven't made an eyesore of, of this area. The Hutchinsons applied to put up a small building in 1998 to house the horses they look after. At that point it looked straightforward. We'd been granted planning permission, we'd obviously got plans in place and we went ahead and built it. At what stage did you realise there was a problem? About two days after we were granted planning permission, uh, we were served with uh, legal notices by uh, Sam Smith's Old Brewery, and it's been ten years of hell since then. Humphrey Smith has told the Hutchinson's representatives that he's fighting the case on a matter of principle and that his only interest is protecting the Greenbelt. Now being back to planning on six occasions, and each occasion it's been granted planning consent. But Samuel Smith uh, have applied for a judicial review, and it's been to the High Court on three occasions. Selby District Council have spent around half a million pounds on this case. In April this year, planning consent was finally granted again by the Government Planning Inspectorate. But Sam Smith's are now taking them to court. Basically, he's, um, you know, self-appointed lord of the manor. It, it's not democracy, and it's not justice. It's the power of the checkbook, isn't it? At the end of the day, um, we're an easy victim. This has been going on now for ten years. Just how much of an emotional strain has this been for you and for your family? Immense strain. Um, 
you, know. you end up at the doctor's. That's what you do, and you take... Ten years. Samuel Smith's lawyers told us that on each occasion planning permission has been quashed by the courts and that one judge condemned Selby's deplorable record of legal judgment in this case. I've come to Rotherham, not to a Sam Smith's pub, but to meet some very unhappy people who used to work for the brewery. All the people in this room are former managers of Sam Smith's old brewery who were sacked by Humphrey Smith last year. Some of them had worked for the brewery for more than 20 years. The pub we had was where both mine and Les's family were and we, we just had to leave it all. You know, it wasn't just the job that you lost, you lost everything. It's destroyed us. We're the same pub for 20 years. My daughter lives round the corner, my son's buried down the road. The problem started when Humphrey Smith asked all the managers to drastically reduce staffing hours at their pubs. The managers protested that they were already working very long hours and this would make matters worse. You see, I assume the brewery would argue that if they're worried about profits, if they're worried about losses, and the easiest way to regain that money is probably to cut staff wages, isn't it? If we cut the staff hours and kept the pub open to the same hours, because mine would open at 11 while 11, That's right, which you wanted then to I'm going to be doing 70 and 80 hours a week. Right. Yeah. Now, is that good for my health? Because I don't think no, it is. The managers soon found themselves in disciplinary proceedings with Humphrey Smith, and last year they were all sacked. Well, you'll put yourself in my position. I've got children. I'm going to be out on the street. Nobody will help me. And I attempt to take my life. Yeah. And I've ended up on antidepressants to marzipan, seeing a psychiatrist. One of the couples, Frank and Pam Marshall, decided to take a test case against Samuel Smith's to an industrial tribunal, claiming unfair dismissal. We want to get our dignity back and get our self-respect back. And I think it's just so important to show everybody that Mr Smith can't treat people like this. You know, not in, not in this day and age loyal employees as us and many of our colleagues were it's a very dickensian attitude yeah he's the master and we're the servants and that's really how he looks upon us meanwhile back in tadcaster selby district council have told us that samuel smith's old brewery have taken them to no less than 14 judicial reviews over the past 10 years these legal disputes have cost the council and therefore local taxpayers hundreds of thousands of pounds. One of them involves this car park in the centre of Tadcaster. We had 10 years of to and fro and, and regrettably no progress. And, and we are today very much where we were 10 years ago. The central car park was sold to Samuel Smith's at a discount back in 1999, apparently on the understanding that the brewery would build a supermarket. When this deal fell through, the council went to court to get the land back. So is the issue over this car park actually resolved now? It's resolved to the point is that we now know who's the legal owner. The district council uh, put forward a planning application to uh, upgrade the car park itself we thought we were uh, going to move forward positively. Then uh, a judicial review challenge came from the brewery and we're at the mo this moment in time waiting for a court date to resolve that. Samuel Smiths told us that the brewery had made strenuous efforts to negotiate a partnership with the council over the car park, but without success. But what about the former Sam Smiths managers, the Marshalls, who took the brewery to tribunal for unfair dismissal? Well, they did eventually win their case because Samuel Smiths had not followed correct procedures when it sacked them. However, the tribunal judge did find that the brewery was within its rights to ask them to reduce the staffing hours. Samuel Smiths had successfully argued that the request had been made at a time of challenging trading conditions and that it had wanted to cut its wage bills rather than put up prices. A couple of weeks ago, the brewery lodged an appeal against the tribunal's decision. Meanwhile, 11 years on, Ian and Catherine Hutchinson are still awaiting a final decision on their case, which is due back in the High Court in late November. Coming up on Inside Out, the nuns moving from an ancient abbey to a brand new eco-convent.